Hey there YouTube, Santi at the Arizona Ghost Riders channel here. We've been getting a few questions lately about how we do the dynamite effects that we use in our skits. So today I'm going to teach you how we make prop dynamite and mimic explosions. Prop dynamite can be used in stunt shows, cosplay, reenactments, film and stage, just about anything. So let's get started. To make prop dynamite you will need a one inch diameter dowel cut to about nine inches long, some brown packing paper, you can also use construction paper if you want. A 1 8 inch drill bit. Elmer's glue for construction and finish. On finishing you can also use things like spray shellac or if you want to be more historically accurate, candle wax. I don't use candle wax because I live in Arizona and it gets really hot here and I'm afraid the wax will melt. Some cannon fuse, also known as visco fuse. You can find this at places like, oddly enough, canonfuse.com, Sportsman's Warehouse, and many other fireworks related places on the interwebs. Just use your googly thing. Okay, construction is going to go like this. Go ahead and drill a hole in the center of one end about an inch deep. Trim the brown paper so that it wraps around the dowel about one time. You can do more if you want. Leave about a half inch overhang on either end so that you can tuck the paper in. Apply the Elmer's glue to the brown paper liberally. You can use a brush or a foam applicator so that you can get some better coverage. Roll the dowel tightly with the brown paper, making sure that there's that half inch paper on either side of the dowel. Go ahead and smooth out the major wrinkles and leave some of the little ones just for imperfections. We like it to look a little rustic. Put a little water in the bottom of a cup then add the Elmer's glue and mix it up. This is going to thin out the glue a little bit for a better application. Essentially you're going to just paint that glue on the outside of the paper, get an even coverage all the way around, making sure to get those end flaps as well. Okay, wait a couple hours for that all to dry, then go ahead and take a nail or a hole punch and punch through the paper on the side that you drilled the hole. Cut a length of visco fuse or cannon fuse and insert it into the hole to make sure it's a proper fit. And there you have it. We've got prop dynamite. Kaboom! On a historical note, dynamite was invented in 1867 by Alfred Nobel of the Nobel Peace Prize, ironically. Two of the major manufacturers of it in America were DuPont and Hercules Powder. Dynamite entered the wild frontier after 1870. It was used primarily in mining enterprises, but saw action with outlaws such as Butch Cassidy, the Doolin Gang, and Dynamite Dick. Yes, you heard me right. When they named him, I sure hope they were talking about explosives. Okay, YouTube. We're going to test out our dynamite in a parking lot of a shopping center. So, this is it. There's my truck. There's the shopping center. And Wait, who's that? That's Rattlesnake Pete. He's going to help us out here today. Hey, Santee, how you doing today? Pretty good. Let's get set up. Okay, so Rattlesnake Pete here is an old prospector. He's a miner, and he's been using dynamite pretty much his whole life. He's got a real stick here today to match up to my fake stick to see if, if actually they look uh, the same. So, what do you think? My golly. That, that's a good match. That that works. All right. That works. Hey, we did good then, huh? Yeah, we did. All right. All right. Well, okay. well Rattlesnake Pete is really, really helpful to me. But I'm going to talk a little bit about the Visco Fuse, which is the reason that we're actually outdoors today. This Visco Fuse, once lit, will actually burn down and drop little pieces of what I call lava. Um, that stuff that falls off of it while it's on fire will burn through clothing and it will actually burn skin too. So that's why we're doing it outside so we don't catch any carpets on fire. Be really careful around clothing and skin when you're using the visco fuse. Okay, so let's give this a test here. Ready? Now, if you look closely at the fuse, you'll realize how it's about to drop some of that lava we were talking about and how it'll burn down and uh, drip right on you. So you gotta be careful. So this is just a test to see if it's gonna burn the paper. Which I don't think it is and uh, boom there you go all done no problems successful <laughs> it 
This prop dynamite is reusable. Just clear out the burned fuse that's left in the hole with a nail and uh, you can use it again, providing you still have dynamite. So I'm going to show you a skit where we actually used some prop dynamite. Afterwards I'll explain to you how we did the explosion. And I'm going to clean myself up a little bit too. How we did that effect is really simple. We just staged a 12 gauge shotgun, double barrels, in the back of the set. Of course we loaded it with blanks, which I'll show you in another video. Then one of the gentlemen who goes back there on the count of three pulls it up while the other one is holding the hats for the, for the two of them. And the one holding the shotgun on the count of three fires both barrels of the blank shotgun while the other one tosses the hats in the air. Easy, easy. If you want to go really crazy and make a really big explosion, you stage two shotguns and then use four barrels. Four barrels? Yeah. Um, I'm going to get cleaned up here and finish this up. You know, put some ice packs on and things like that. So maybe some aloe vera. I hope you guys learned something from this whole instructional. Um, I know I sure did. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail.